퍼펙트. 오, 에. 아, this looks like a big pur. Yes. Today we're going to be testing some more food hacks I found around the internet. We are going to be myth busting these hacks today. And without further ado, let's get on with the testing. Let's go. Right here I have an egg cutter. I've never used this to cut eggs in my entire life before. That's not going to change today. But apparently this can be used to cut a bunch of different things. So we're going to put different like ingredients and fruits and things to the test. Let's do it. So we're gonna start with some mushrooms first. I think this will be the easiest to cut, and then you can get like perfect sliced mushroom for salad. Okay. That was pretty easy. Look at that. Perfecto. We gotta do it again. Whoa! Yes! Yes! They look like little trees. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I should have washed these. It's time to test some strawberries. Mm. It's almost like a strawberry shape here. Will it cut? Oh. Okay, this is a bit tougher than the other one. Kind of looks like it's just stuck in the middle. I've got like two slices that's popped out. Ah! This looks like a murder scene. Let's move on to the next fruit. We have a banana. The first thing we need to do is obviously peel. <laughs> it just exploded. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Ooh, it's kind of hard to push through. Uh, this kind of looks like a mess. <laughs> oh gosh, maybe it was too long. And we're gonna try this piece. Still need a bit of pressure. <gasps> Look at that perfect banana chip. Oh. Mm, I don't like bananas. Says that you can turn soft or stale bread into crunchy bread. And right here, I got myself some soft buns. Kind of like my own buns. They're not very firm, just kind of soft. So all we need to do is douse these buns with some water. You actually do want it quite soaked. This feels kind of like counterintuitive because we want the bun to be crunchy. This feels so weird. What is this? Now we're gonna put this in the oven for three to five minutes on each side. And apparently it's gonna turn into super crispy bread. In you go, little bread. A few moments later. Let's check it out. Ready? <gasps> Wow, you see that beautiful bread? It is crunchy, did you hear that? Mmm, and it's so moist on the inside as well because of the water, I think that helped. This is perfect bread. Oh, oh. Anyway, this hack actually worked. I can't believe it. And now we got ourselves some hot buns. So here I have a hair pick. I've never used one of these before. I have seen them. This particular hair pick, it's like got a fist on the top. What? Bro fist. I'm gonna use this to cut some food. Apparently it's a great way to hold it in place, see if this makes it easier and safer. We're gonna start by cutting the first gap, second gap. This is actually a really good guide. My cucumber's not moving. I can keep cutting it without worrying about cutting my fingers. Hey, this is pretty good. Look at that. That's pretty cool, guys. We're gonna test it on an onion next. We don't like touching the onion when we're cutting it. It makes your fingers smell for like the rest of the day. Oh yeah, it's quite pungent, guys. Hey, that's pretty neat. I'm impressed. When I'm at home by myself cutting onions, there's no way they look like this. This is a pretty good hack. Bro fist. I love lemon water, so I always have a lemon in my fridge, but I don't use the whole lemon at once, and when I leave it in the fridge, it either gets stale or dry, and it wastes a whole lot of lemon. And guys, this stuff ain't cheap. So when I heard of this hack where you just use a chopstick to keep a lemon fresh, I was like, Gotta try it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do with the lemon is actually to roll it a little bit and make it super juicy inside. And then we're just gonna 
There we go. We have the hole. Okay guys, so this amount of juice, whoa, look at that. Whoa, look how much came out. This is perfectly fine. This is all I need at any one time with my lemon drink. I don't like it too sour, obviously. So every time you run out of lemon juice, take your chopstick and then stick it in, in all the different angles. There's like all these little chambers that are like connected by that little fibrous tissue. So by putting your chopstick in and like jiggling it around, you're breaking that up and releasing the juice from the lemon. So the next time you come and take this from the fridge, you just do that and then check that out. More juice comes out. And now that we've got enough lemon juice for this time, we can pop it back in the fridge. It won't go dry or stale. I love this hack. If you're a lemon lover, you'd love it too. I have a confession to make. I love garlic. So I guess I can never date a vampire. Werewolves, call me. But anyways, I hate peeling them. You know that smell gets on your fingers and stays forever. So I saw this hack where you put the garlic in a jar and you shake it up. Apparently it magically peels it. They make it look really, really easy. Let's get shaken. They make it look so easy. Uh, guys, it looks exactly the same. I feel like by now it should have done something. What is this? The internet lies. Mm, smells good though. Maybe let's try it again. But we're gonna peel the cloves off separately first. So I'm gonna take points off this hat because it's making me do stuff. I guess it's making me do some exercise. Oh, maybe I'm not strong enough for this hat. Oh. Hold on a second. I'm calling a lifeline. I'm shaking it a lot. Thanks, Bex. So with someone with slightly more muscles than me, we peeled one garlic. <laughs> we got one garlic peeled. <laughs> Looks like I'm looking into my own soul. Okay guys, so apparently there's a hack that helps you peel your boiled potatoes easier. All you need to do is grab a knife and then all you want to do is score around the middle section of your potato lightly. We don't want to cut all the way through, we just want to cut through the skin. And if with any luck we're meeting on the- oh perfect! Let's do it for the other one before we pop them into the water. Alright, we've scored them, let's pop them into the water to cook. We are back with the potatoes. They look really good. So now we're looking for a super clean peel off. Ready? Let's go. <gasps> I mean, it didn't peel perfectly because the skin's really thin, but I mean, it made it easier. Not as satisfying as I wanted it to be. I see all these videos online about, you know, it perfectly just peeling like that. Didn't happen, but I mean, it was a lot easier to peel. Ready? Three, two, one. If you guys tried this hack and it works for you, let me know down below because all I have right now is broken dreams, some half-naked potatoes, and messy fingers. We all know that salt makes certain sweet things taste better, but today we're gonna test whether it makes watermelon taste better. I have with me some premium rock salt. We're going to sprinkle it. I think we should test it without the salt first. This part has no salt. Mmm. Now it's time for the real test. So you can get this bit. Ooh. Okay guys, you know it's a bit too much salt. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it another chance with a little less salt. I'm gonna actually take this tiny piece and mix the salt in first. Clever girl. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. No. That, okay, my mind is being blown right now. That is like magic. So in like a weird way, it made the watermelon flavor taste more strong. Oh my gosh, guys, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Max, I have a surprise for you. You want some watermelon? Okay. when we get to the end of our Nutella. <laughs> Those final little bits. But it's okay guys, we actually have a super cool hack where you can get every little single piece of Nutella out from the jar. And we know how much the internet hates wasting Nutella. I know. So all we need is a cup of warm milk. 
And then all you do is add it into your empty Nutella. Nutella shake! Did not expect it to leak on me. It looked airtight in the picture. This is extremely awkward. Okay guys, we are done with the shaking. Let's have a look at what this milkshake looks like. Mmm, that looks good. Mmm, this is amazing. Oh, this is actually one of the best milkshakes I've ever had in my life. This could have been in the bin. You guys gotta try it. Add some sprinkles for like some crunchy surprises. Mmm. So apparently you can make cookie cups from the bottom of a muffin tray. You can either make your cookie dough or you can buy it like me because, you know, laziness. So we're just going to open this. Oh, look at that. Oh, this looks like a big poo. <laughs> Cut little bits out so we have the right thickness. I was going to lick the spoon, but it was a knife. So I was like, bad idea. All right, we're going to spray this with some oil so that the cookie cups don't stick. Oh yeah. The cookie dough and just kind of mold it around the cup. Okay guys, I think we're done. So let's pop it in the oven and see what it turns out like. Whoa, what is that? It looks like chocolate grimer. So as you can see, this kind of didn't turn out as I planned it. In my head, it was supposed to look like this. You know, like it all looks very pretty. Maybe we can still save it. It's disappointment after disappointment. Onions are notoriously famous for making you cry when you cut them. But guys, I discovered a new form of waterproof makeup that will make sure you'll never ever have runny mascara again in the kitchen. Ready for it? Go. Apparently, when you chew gum while you're cutting onions, it's supposed to stop you from crying. All right, I'm gonna go. Hmm, okay. Putting the fumes near the eyes. Hmm. Look guys, bright sparkly eyes. Okay, so by now I would normally be crying. And you know what? I can hardly even smell the onion because it's so minty fresh up here. At first when I heard it, I thought it sounded a bit strange and a bit odd. But this hack actually worked, which surprised me. We tested some pretty cool hacks today. Let me know which one your favorite is down in the description box below. A huge shout out to Notification Squad of the Week. And also the Wendy Corner of the Week. If you guys want to get your very own shout out, don't forget to follow the instructions in the description box to see how you can enter. And I will see you next week. I'm going to miss you guys so much until then. Bye guys!